Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to paint some grapes on a vine. The first step is drawing the grapes. The materials you'll need for this step is a sharp pencil and an eraser. I'm using a mono zero eraser that is very exact, but you can use any eraser. Let's get started. The first thing to do is start on the leaves in the vine. I'm going to have a leaf right here and then the vine will come this way and the grapes will come this way. I might also have some leaves right here. So first, starting on the first leaf, Alright, so there's the first leaf. Now let's move on to the vine. We're going to start at the bottom of the leaf and curve it around. There's a vague shape of the vine that we're going to use, and now let's draw some more leaves. And there's another leaf. I'm going to add some more leaves, but you can stop whenever you want. When you're done with drawing leaves and vines, we can move on to drawing the grapes. So I finished drawing my vines and my leaves, and now I'm going to start on the grapes. So I'm going to have my grapes coming out of this vine, and I'm just going to start with one single grape at the very top. Then I'm going to put one over it, kind of slanted, and then move down and put some to the side. Drawing the grapes is actually very simple. You just draw a bunch of circles and they're overlapping and you're good. Keep on doing this until you're satisfied with the shape of your grape branch and we'll move on to the next step. So that is my finished grape bundle. It starts from wide to skinny gradually. When you finished your grape drawing, we can move on to the outlining part. The outlining part is optional. If you don't want to do it and just leave your drawing in pencil, that's fine. But I'm going to be outlining it to make it bolder. The materials you'll be needing for outlining your grapes are an empty space and a palette, some clean water, a very thin brush, and some ink. Or if you have black paint, you can use your black paint. The first thing I'm going to do is pour a very small amount of black ink into my palette. Once we've got our black in our palette, we're going to add some water to lighten it up. Adding water is very simple. All you do is take your brush and put it in the water and transfer the water from the container to your palette. Once you've got enough water, you can mix the black and the water together. You should have a watered down black that looks like this. When I outline, I prefer to outline my drawings with a very thin line, but you can do however thick you would look. I'm gonna start with this top leaf. Very carefully trace over all the lines that you have drawn. The first leaf is complete. The other two leaves are the same exact process. And the second leaf is done. Now on to the third leaf. Once the third leaf is complete, I'm going to move on to the vines. And now it's time to start on the grapes. That's the finished product of the outlined grapes. Now that we've finished outlining them, we can start painting them. The materials you'll be needing to paint the grapes are the following colors. Green, which I'm going to, to make by mixing blue and yellow. A pinkish red, or just red and white. Red and white. Then you'll be needing ink or black paint. The three brushes that you'll be needing are a th very thin brush, a fading brush, and a shading brush. You'll also be needing water, paper towels to blot out your mistakes, and a palette. When you have gathered all your materials, we can start painting. The first step of painting your grapes is painting the vine and the leaves. 
For this, you'll need to make a green. If you already have a already made green, you can just use that. But I'm going to make my own green by mixing yellow and blue. So find an empty place in your palette, squeeze a tiny bit of blue in, and lots of yellow since blue is so much stronger than yellow. The yellow should be about three to four times more than the blue. Now using your fading brush, we're going to add some water to it. So put your fading brush in the water, drip some into the yellow and the blue. Now using your shading brush, we're going to mix the two colors together. There we have a nice green. Play around with the green until you have the color you want, and then we can start painting the leaves. Once you've got the green that you like, fill your shading brush with it and wet your fading brush. I'm going to start with this leaf here, and how I'm going to paint this leaf is shade the whole leaf in with the green, except leave a white space where the veins are. So let me show you how to do it. So the center vein, I'm going to leave a small space and then this vein that's branching off, I'm also going to leave a small space, like that. And now fill in the rest of the leaf. Now on the other side of this vein, I'm also going to leave a small space. And the middle vein, I'm also going to leave a space. I'm going to do this for all the veins and then we can move on to the next step. When you finish filling in your leaf, it should look like this. Now we're going to do the same exact thing for these two leaves. When you finish shading, you can start on the finishing the veins. To make the color for the veins, all you have to do is add some ink to your green that you use for shading in the leaves. To paint the veins, shade in the spaces we left when we shaded in the leaves with the new green. Then fade them out. Do this for all the veins, and once we're done with the veins, we can move on to the shadows. To paint the shadows, all you have to do is use the color you use for the veins. First, shade in the bottom half of the leaf along the right side. Then fade it out. You can do this a couple times if you want to make it darker. Using this color, shade in the vines. Once we're done with the vines, we can start on the grapes. For the grapes, you're going to need a whole new color. First, find an empty spot on your palette. Then, get your pinkish red and your ink. First, to make the color, pour a small amount of ink inside the palette. Then, squeeze about that much red paint into your palette. With your fading brush, drip some water into the color. Then with a clean shading brush, mix the two colors together. Now, if you think about grapes, you can imagine their color and you should play around the color until you're satisfied. Once you've got your color finished, we can start painting. Fill your shading brush with the color you just made and wet your fading brush. Keep in mind that all the grapes aren't the same color. So we're gonna make some of them a darker purple and some of them a lighter purple. This is the lighter purple, so I'm only gonna shade in some of the grapes. The way we're gonna make the grapes look realistic is shade the top of the grape and then fade the rest. Let me show you. So I'm gonna start with the top grape, shade in the top and fade it out all the way to the bottom. The grape will end up looking like that and I'm going to do this one so I'm going to keep on shading and then fading it. The reason that I'm not doing the one right below it or right next to the first grape is because all the grapes aren't the same color. So we're only going to shade in some of the grapes this color until I'm satisfied about how many light purple grapes I have. When you shaded some of the grapes a light purple, we can move on to shading the rest of the grapes. So I have finished the lightest shade of purple and I only shaded in about half of the grapes and the other half I'm going to shade in the darker purple. To make the darker purple, all you have to do is add a little blue to your lighter purple. So here's my lighter purple and on the brush, I have some blue. I'm going to add the blue to this purple and now it's a darker purple. Fill your shading brush with the new purple and wet your fading brush. We're, we're going to do the exact same process with this new purple. 
on all the other grapes that we did not paint with the lighter purple. So that is what the new purple looks like. And you're going to do that to all the empty grapes that haven't yet been shaded yet. So I finished the rest of the grapes and this is what it looks like. The next step is working with the shadows. There are many, many shadows in a bundle of grapes and shadows appear when one grape is on top of the other. Take these two grapes for example. There's going to be a shadow right here because this grape is on top of that grape and casts a shadow. For the shadows, all we're going to use is a watered down black. I'm going to take my ink, pour a little into one of my spots in my palette and water it down. The result is going to look similar to the black we use for tracing. Fill your brush with the watered down ink, wet your fading brush, and we can start the shadows. So the first shadow I'm going to do is the one I pointed out. Draw it out and then fade it out. We're going to do the same for all the grapes that are on top of each other. This is what the shadows look like when they're finished. After we finish the shadows, we have to do the light spots. The color we'll use for the light spots is white, and all you have to do is squeeze out some white and water it down. For the light spots, we're going to use our thin brush and our fading brush. Once you've watered down your white, we have to decide where the light is coming from. We have to know where the light spots are. Depending on where your light is coming from, your light spots will be in different spots. My light is coming from this direction down here. So my light spots will be around this place of the grape. Take this grape for example. The light spot is going to be right here like that. When you've wetted your fading brush, fade it ever so slightly so it looks like that. Most grapes should have it except for the ones fully concealed by other grapes like this one. This one's light spot is also right there and then you'll fade it out. Do this for every grape except for the ones that are concealed. Once we're done with the light spots, we're finished with the grapes. This is the final product. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you liked it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.